Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender for video editing. Uh, in this session, we're going to talk about how you can easily see everything that's keyframed. Uh, so uh, from this example, you can see I have two different meta strips in the video sequence editor. If I scrub across the bottom one, you can see it is uh, being animated for the opacity. But when we look over here in the graph editor, then uh, all we see is uh, the X and Y that we're animating for the top meta strip. The first thing you can do is just make sure you have all of the strips selected that you want to see keyframes for. So back down here in the video sequence editor, all I have to do is press the A button twice to toggle both of them being selected. And now you can see I have three different attributes here that's showing up in the uh, graph editor. That's the first way. And uh, from here, you can go ahead and, and make uh, changes as, as you need to. Now, the other way, uh, let me just change it back to just uh, selecting a single strip, is this little arrow here. That's basically acting as a filter. So with that on, right now it's only showing you keyframes for uh, the strip that has been selected but if i click on it now we can see all of the attributes that are currently being keyframed here okay so that is another way of being able to see everything uh, and actually while we're at it let me scroll across here so i'm going to hold down on the middle mouse button and drag across what you might be wondering is um, from this listing here, we can see it's color coded. So offset X is red, and we can easily see this red line here. It's, we're using linear extrapolation for that. The green is the offset Y, and you can see it's this curve that I've set up here with uh, several keyframes. Uh, and then over here, it's supposed to be purple for blend opacity, but can't see anything. And the reason is these other things with the offset X and Y, the values can be great, right? Because it's, you're talking about uh, changing the pixel locations of something that could be high resolution. Uh, but in the case of opacity, your values are anywhere from zero to one, right? Um, so on our Y scale, it's, it goes from you know zero to 1500. You can't see anything. That's what this button is useful for. When you click on this button, then everything gets normalized between minus one to positive one. So now if I hit press the home key, automatic zoom in, now you can more easily see everything that's being animated and how those curves look. Although some things do will turn out a bit strange. Uh, but anyway, that that is one other thing that's very handy to have to toggle on if you need to see how things kind of relate to each other. I'll bring take that off again and hit the home again. Okay, so that's with the graph editor. Uh, what else can we talk about? Well, let's go down and look over here. Our timeline editor is also a handy to tool to be able to see all of the keyframes. Right now, we don't see any keyframes at all. But by going to the view menu and unchecking this option, only keyframes from selected channels, as soon as we do that, we can see a whole bunch of these yellow orange lines all around. And these represent all of the different keyframes that have been set for the different uh, strips in this scene. So if I use the up and down arrows to jump across, you can see this lines up to every single one of these points that we see here in the graph editor as I jump around, right? So that's also a, a nice way of being able to, to visually see uh, where things are happening, where your keyframes are set uh, in an editor that we're already using most of the time, or at least it's, it's there by default in the video editing screen layout. Uh, so there's one last thing that I want to show you. And it's a different editor that we haven't talked about before. Let me just bring that back over here and click on this. It's called the Dope Sheet Editor. And when you switch to this one, you get a high level view of your scene 
uh, with uh, pretty much everything showing up as these uh, diamond-shaped icons. So I can, again, I can use the up and down arrow keys to jump between them. Uh, and that's, I don't use this much, but it's, it's another way you can sort of uh, visually see everything. And uh, I suppose when things get really complicated, you can use this to try to uh, to picture and map out where all the all these different things are happening. You can also make changes here. You can uh, I don't think you can change the value, but you can change when keyframes appear. So if I wanted to, I could you you know press the B button and draw a box to select all of these things, and then press G to grab them and shift them so that the you know, I can adjust all of these at the same time. Uh, but that's pretty much it, and. That is the end for this video. It's just to show you all the different ways you can uh, look at all of the keyframes you've set. So hope that helps you. Uh, if you do like it, please do give it a like and subscribe so you can see more content. And we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks and bye for now.